Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's take a look at the lock screen settings on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. In macOS Ventura, in System Settings, the variety of preferences that you can set that determine how your Mac's lock screen looks and works. To get to these settings, go to System Settings and then scroll down on the left to Lock Screen. Now the first set of preferences here deals with the sequence of what happens to get to your lock screen. First your screensaver would start, then your display would go to sleep, then you would be locked out of your Mac until you entered your password again. Now if you're using a MacBook, you're actually going to have two settings for when your display goes to sleep. One for when it's plugged into power and the other for when it's on battery. This way you can have your display go to sleep faster when it's on battery to conserve power and take longer to get there if you're plugged into power. So the first setting is for screensaver. If you choose not to use a screensaver like I do, you can just set this to never. Otherwise you can set it for a certain amount of time before the screensaver comes on. When the screensaver is on, all you need to do is just press a key like the space bar and it would exit screensaver mode and you'd be back to working. Next you've got how long until the display will turn off. This of course is your Mac's sleep mode and you can set that for various amounts of time. Note that if you set your screensaver to go on in 20 minutes and you've got display inactive for only 10 minutes, you're going to get a message here saying that your screensaver is never going to actually go on because your display will go to sleep before it ever gets to the 20 minutes for the screensaver to start. Now after your display is inactive, there's an amount of time before your Mac is locked. So this is a critical security feature. A really good time to set this to is 5 seconds. 5 seconds gives you enough time that if you're actually sitting at your Mac and the display goes to sleep, you can just reach over, hit the space bar, and it will wake up again. But otherwise it will lock just 5 seconds after it goes to sleep. If you set this for a longer time, it may seem more convenient. But imagine leaving your desk alone in a place where other people can get to it and the display goes to sleep but because you've got this set to something else, it's not yet locked and they can simply wake it up and have access to all of your stuff. You also have an option for show message when locked. If you turn that on, you can now set a message to appear on the lock screen. So you could include some contact information for instance and hope that maybe if you lose your MacBook and somebody opens it up and they just see the message on the lock screen, they can now get in touch with you. How useful it is probably depends on your day-to-day -day situation. For instance, if you're at school or on a large work campus, it may be very likely that if you leave your laptop somewhere like a meeting room or classroom that it gets returned to you. However, outside of those situations, at least leaving some message there gives you a little bit of a chance of it getting returned. Here's an example of a message you could set and then this is how it would appear here on the lock screen. Now you also have some options for what is shown on the lock screen. So one is to have either a list of users or name and password. Name and password is a little more secure but less convenient. Instead of seeing the users on the lock screen, clicking on a user and then entering your password, you would actually have to enter the name of the user account. So if somebody finds your Mac and doesn't even know who it belongs to, they won't get any information from the name of the user account and they'll be missing two pieces of information to get into it, the username and the password. You can also decide whether or not the sleep, restart, and shutdown buttons are present on the lock screen. Usually that's the most convenient option. And also when you created your user account, you were asked to provide a hint for your password. If you have this off, then those hints won't be provided on the lock screen. Now you also have a variety of other options in this Accessibility Options button. So these are all accessibility features and these switches determine whether or not those accessibility features are available on the lock screen. So for instance, whether you can use VoiceOver, Zoom, Sticky Keys, and other things while on the lock screen. If you don't use these normally then you don't need them on the lock screen. However, Accessibility Keyboard is useful. If you turn this on then you'll get a keyboard on the screen and can actually type out a password using just your mouse or trackpad. This could be useful if you have keyboard trouble. Now note you're not going to see the Accessibility Keyboard when you simply lock your screen. You will see it if you're switching users. So on the lock screen just click the Switch User button here and you go to Switch User Mode. But then you could certainly select this same user account to go back into and you'd have the Accessibility Keyboard there to be able to enter the password using just your mouse or trackpad. Now it's important that no matter what you have your lock sequence set to that if you know you're walking away from your Mac 
that you lock it immediately. So don't wait for these to happen. Instead you can just use the Apple menu and then go to Lock Screen or note the keyboard shortcut Control Command Q. You can also set a hot corner for it by going to Desktop and Dock, scrolling to the bottom, clicking on Hot Corners and then set Lock Screen to one of the corners and then when you move your pointer there it will lock automatically. If you find you trigger that by accident you can always hold a modifier key down like say Command and then it would only happen if you moved your pointer to the top right and held the Command key down while doing it. If you have a Mac with the Touch ID button on the keyboard you can press and hold that for one second and it will go to the lock screen. Also of course if you have a MacBook and you close the lid it will go to the lock screen. But it will follow this setting here. So if you have it set to one minute if you close the lid you have up to one minute where you can just open it up and have access to everything. You definitely want to set it to five seconds or maybe even consider immediately when using a MacBook and rely on closing the lid to lock it. So the most important actions to take are to set your screen saver and display off time as you want and set your require password time to something very small. I recommend five seconds. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.